This video is brought to you by the Crafts Channel. For more exciting party themed ideas, check out the rest of our special celebration series. Hi, I'm Abby Southern and I'm here at the Crafts Channel with Corin Brad. What are we going to be making today, Corin? Well, today, Abby, I thought I'd make you a lovely bunch of tissue paper flowers. Oh, how gorgeous. These are great for parties or just decoration around the home and you can pop them into a bit of oasis in the bottom of a jar. Um, very simply made. We've got here a whole myriad of colours um, of tissue paper flowers. These they look been, so pretty, I'd just leave them like that. They, actually, what is, I mean, I've mounted these on sticks, but what you can do, if you just want scattered decorations on the table, is just leave them flat on the table. Mm. Um, I've used a die-cut machine to cut a simple six-petal flower out, and I've got several of them, and what I've done with the tissue paper is I've folded the sheets into several pieces and cut the whole lot at once to then separate them afterwards. It saves an awful lot of time. So you want to start your flower with a disc of card. Um, this is about four or five centimetres in diameter. Um, pop a bit of glue on the bottom of it, a good healthy amount there, and we'll start with the darkest colour first of all. Just check that you've got one sheet of tissue, and then if you fold the flower, don't fold it directly in half so that those petals um, match up. Fold it so that you've then got the petals filling the gaps in between the other petals, and fold it in a quarter again, and fix onto a quarter of the card. Don't worry if they pop up because you'll be putting some more petals on the top of them. Fold another section of petals, pop it here. And you don't want to glue them all down because what you want is the petals to be raised up so it actually looks like a real flower. Okay, pop this down here. So there's four petals on one layer then? Four petals on one layer, but rather than just laying the petals one on top of the other, yeah. if you fold them it gives it a great deal of height. Now, if you use a dry glue stick or now, it's possible you might rip it, so what I would now do is use like a liquid glue. Um, just put a couple of dollops in the middle there. Just in the centre? Just in the centre. Not on the petals themselves though? No, just where you've met it in the middle, mm -hmm. where the folds are, because you only want to attach the petals in the centre of the flower and I've got a slightly lighter red here. And when you lay these over, don't lay it over exactly where you laid it before. Lay it so it covers the join. Okay. Do another one here. Do you think these are the best colours to use? Are these your favourites? I do like red. Red has always been my favourite colour. Um, what is nice, actually, with tissue paper, I mean, you can get so many varieties of colour of, of tissue paper. Um, a lot of the packs that you buy in the shop you can, you know, you'll get sort of 20 colours in a pack, so you can mix them together. Mm -hmm. um, depending on the colour scheme, you know, if you have a colour scheme for your party, I must admit, when I have garden parties for my daughter's birthday and things like that, there is no colour scheme. It's just anything that's as bright as possible, <coughs> normally to clear away the rainy weather. Yeah. Okay, so that's your next layer. Hello, the glue's uh, gone a bit mad. Just dab that on there. And then we'll finish with a pink in the centre. And you can layer up as many different colours as you like. I've only gone with about three colours at a time mm -hmm. because it does give enough height and enough variation for quite a decent flower. You can use more than two colours though, can oh, you? Oh yeah, I mean, you, you know, it's. I can remember when I was a kid making loads and loads of tissue paper flowers to decorate a carnival float for some reason. Um, and, but, you know, you get to the stage where if you've got so much tissue paper on it, you can't get the fluffiness of the petals. Yeah. Um, and it just does look like a lump of paper. I like this pink and white one here. That's yeah, be my yeah. Favorite. They've come out quite well. So then we'll just pop that there. And then what you do is if you get your skewer, hold the petals in the center, you should, I will just make a small hole with a scalpel. Don't pierce your finger with a scalpel. Make a hole in the bottom of the card with the scalpel until you feel it touch your finger. Or you could use a pokey tool. Yeah, make sure you use red if yeah. you're going to stick your finger. <laughs> um, put a little bit of glue on the end of the skewer. My glue's trying to escape. And then just push it into the hole and you can see it coming up through the centre. Leave that there and then you can fluff these petals up to cover where the skewer is coming through. You could even add an embellishment to the centre. You gem could, or yeah, a gemstone. Or th yeah, if you're having them as flat table decorations, you could mm -hmm. use one of those um, gemstone brads or yeah. something like this. You could pop a button in the no, middle a of flat it. Flat back, though. 
anything like that. Mm. And then you have a flower on a stick. Very simple. Brilliant, Corin. That's all we have time for today. Do join us again on the Crafts Channel. Thanks, Corin.